You've got certain guys in the league that are like your guys, that you love. And Under one the of them, radars. I like those. One, one of them. Stay low, keep It's a gentleman by the name of Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard was speaking with Complex, and here is what he had to say about super teams. He said, quote, if I go play with three other stars, I don't think that many people would doubt that I could win it. We would win it. But what is the challenge or the fun in that? What do you think about Dame's philosophy? I think there's levels to this. And Dame Lillard is one of the top 10 players in the league. I don't like to see one of those 10 guys to go play with somebody else that's already in the top 10. And so that's what started to happen. Mm -hmm. You have a 73-win team with a unanimous MVP in Steph Curry, and then you have a guy that just won the MVP of the league in Kevin Durant. Go play with them. Mm -hmm. And we all felt like that was almost unfair. And it ended up being so because they won back-to-back -back championships and he was the finals MVP and was so unhappy that he bounced and said that he couldn't wait to get to the culture of the Nets and left the one with the Warriors. Okay? So he went there specifically for that narrative. Oh, people ain't going to give me my love. I'm MVP. I'm scoring title. I'm in OKC. It ain't enough. I know I'm going to shut people up. LeBron had to do that when he went from Cleveland yep. to Miami. I get it. I appreciate players like Dame wanting to do what they saw Dirk do, win the championship in Dallas. That meant everything Jaylen, to Dirk. I have an important Damian Lillard update. Big Dollar. Album is dope. Big Dollar. Album is dope. I listened to it just to see. I was like, oh, let me just try this. Let me just see what it's like. I went back to I it I got to study it. I went back to it again. The album is dope. Now it is time for Statue News. Now it's part of the show where we welcome in not just ESPN's senior statue analyst, the world-renowned senior statue analyst Jalen Anthony Rose joins the show. Jalen, the Spurs are going to retire Tony Parker's number. And this got me thinking, as someone who values statues, cares so much about statues, mm -hmm. do you think the San Antonio Spurs could put together a big three statue of Manu, Tony, and Timmy? Never seen you do this on the show before. This is this is tough. I've never seen you do this on the show this before. This is tough because you can't just do one of them. They all deserve statues. A statue with uh, one statue of all three of them, or individual statues. It would be whatever, uh, whatever somebody would do for the Fab Five. They should do for these five championships that Tim Duncan led, and it was more than just about him. And when we talk about super teams, I kind of have to remind people of something. This didn't just start happening. No. You want to know who won, basically won a championship every year I was in the league? Hakeem Olajuwon, back-to-back -back years. Michael Scotty and Rodman, mm -hmm. three Rod straight Rodman years. Rodman joining the Bulls, no one was complaining about that. Shaq and Kobe, three straight years with Phil. Tim Duncan. The, the Celtics the Celtics had a nice roster, too. And it so wasn't just Larry doing it by himself. I always felt like, even though that they weren't all lottery picks, the Spurs were a super team. They had my new a Hall of Famer coming off the bench. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.